So Harman Preet and Amit Raidas at the top of the circle. And it comes to Harman Preet. Wide. He's missed as well, the same as Bandarak has for Great Britain. And Great Britain get it away. No rest at all in this one. A full blooded contest. Right hand castle, he just hasn't put enough right hand. He's brave number one running though for Great Britain. Look at the line that comes through there, almost on his knees as he goes through the ball. Both teams giving it absolutely everything. Free hit, high off aims a stick. And we are three minutes away from a shootout. What is there, or is there room for a winner? There's definitely room for a winner with the two teams playing this expansively. Can India steal it? That's where, when they've been successful, certainly in the first weekend, they've stolen the ball. A lovely pick from Hardik. Shamsha goes down the line looking for Lalit. Lalit twisting, turning, turns Draper inside out, wins the free hit. Draper a little fortunate though, There's a, there was a big trailing foot that he dragged through. Well, he's picked up one yellow already. Draper, into the foot, into the stick of aims. One corner. Preet turns Roper inside out. Two minutes remaining in this one, Simon. What an absolute cracking game of hockey this has been. We get absolutely treated to so many fabulous games, not just the Pro League, but across international hockey. But this is another classic encounter between two teams right from the very first instance. Oh, Reynolds Cottrell, who's just... Well, he's Russia playing ahead, isn't completely. It? He will not be out. Looking back on it, he won't be happy. He's just made unforced errors, really. It's a basic ball through. Yes, it's got a little skip on it, but you just go through that, you get your head over it. He's let his hips drop technically, and by letting your hips drop, you just pull your body weight backwards and punch it upwards. So 1.43 remaining. Um, it's on the right hand castle. Harman Preet now on the left. Does he go to the stick side of the keeper? <laughs> Minute comes to the right hand castle. Good number one running. Here's a chance for Harman Preet. Does some selfish play back across the face of goal onto the foot of the attacker. And Great Britain survived and then a poor aerial ball. Oh. He won't fight. Well, Here we see the replay, Charlie, though. This is where it comes back off Toby Reynolds Cottrell. He does really well to stay big. It's off the goalkeeper and then a touch in the middle. Wallace down the middle was unmarked, but he couldn't collect the pass across. And here goes Gurjan up against Oates. He's overrun it. Ames peels away. 60 seconds remaining in this one. Great Britain four, India four. Toe to toe is it's a he brilliant heavyweight contest. Neither side willing to back away and give quarter, creating opportunities still. We said in the first quarter, would they be able to retain it? This is going to punish Great Britain for tomorrow against Belgium, though, this pace and tempo. Roper, good work from Jarman Preet. Is there to be one last chance? Sigi wins the free hit. Harman Preet's got to go big if they want to create anything. He's got to look long. Well, it's a half flick over the top to Jarman Preet. Three hit out. I think Nurse has cramped on the far side. Now is their time. Well, Half inside the final seconds. seconds, the cross it oh. comes. Oh, oh, that that was the Radas, brilliant control. There is the final hooter. What a contest that was. It's just apologising to Jarman Preet for the collision at the end. And Jarman Preet not happy at all. But what a contest we have had here. It's been end to end, full-blooded stuff.
and just a little niggly towards the end of this one, which is a shame because it's been such a fascinating game of hockey. Harman Fried isn't happy. But India and Great Britain can't be split. Harman Fried just takes a deep breath before he has a conversation with Lim Hong Zhen, the umpire. But what a contest. The crowd here at Lee Valley have been thoroughly entertained. Sam Ward has scored all four of Great Britain's goals. First time he's scored four for Great Britain. Ball through, what a strike this is. Mandeep for 2-1. Plays it through Creed, through the goalkeeper. Huge power. Then finding opportunity down the right-hand side. It is Kalman the way. Won two and lost two shootouts he's been in. Shri Jesh has won nine, lost eight. Similar returns as Kalman gets the shootout underway. Kalman driving at pace. Kalman goes to the air. Yeah, what a bit of skill that is from Will Kalman. Kalman up really well to keep the ball under control. Are they referring it? No, they're not. Callan comes in, he rolls round, Patank, I think gets a touch of the ball there, that's really well done, and then that pulling in is fantastically finished. So Manfred the next to go. So Manfred up against Mazzarello, who was in goal when Great Britain beat the Netherlands 2-0 in Argentina. Manfred, lovely skill. I thought Masrelli might have got by there, but no, Manfred finishes the job. Manfred drives in really nicely. Control, fakes one way, comes back. Great hands, gets underneath the goalkeeper. Mazzarello was active and agile, but just couldn't quite get low enough. So, Zach Wallace. to go for Great Britain. Here he goes. Wallace finishes, taking it to the reverse stick, up into the net. He seemed to leave it on the reverse stick for an awfully long time. Talk about calm. Look, he's almost he jogs in, he's looking at the goalkeeper all the time, knows that he's gone wide, he's now just looking at the space, but that just doesn't get across quickly enough. So, Harman Preet, the next to go for India. Three from three scored so far. Harman Preet nutmegs Mazzarello and levels it up at two all. A little smile from the India skipper. Easy to say as he comes in and does this, but I was going to say in an earlier shootout, he nutmegged the goalkeeper all bit on the forehand. That is just brilliant. How inventive. So, Rupert Shifley, the next to go. Shifley goes to the left-hand side, into the side of the goal. Shifley the first to miss. Disappointment for Rupert Shifley. Felt that he changed his mind a little bit too early. Never gets round that completely. Hasn't gone wide enough. Goalkeeper was still in play and he knew he was. You've got to get the goalkeeper moving at least once. Well, he's taken two for Great Britain Shipley. Now he's missed both of them. Lalit to give India the lead. Lalit twisting, turning. Yeah. Just too quick with his hands. Lalit coming in, he's just moved Mazzarello nicely, taking him left to right and then Mazzarello can't get down, he's a big goalkeeper, gets his hands down but Lalit's gone close to his feet. Lalit gives him the lead, Roper really must score here, and he's run straight into Patak and well Phil Roper just doesn't do enough. And India are on the verge of taking the bonus point here.
because if Abhishek scores, it's them that will win. He's got three chances, haven't they? Let's go goal to save for a goal. Any one of those and they win. So Abhishek to win it. Comes at pace at Mazzarello. Mazzarello goes down and Abhishek scores and India take the shootout win by four goals to two. They take the shootout bonus point. Disappointment for Great Britain. Mazzarello didn't get close to any of them. And India take the